Now, another unusual story over the weekend, but when it comes to Israeli politics, nothing is unexpected. With elections just over a month away, parties are going all out with their campaigns, some more provocatively than others. Extreme right political candidate of the Otsma Yehudit party, Itamar Ben Gvir, posting to his personal Twitter account a satirical video featuring a fictitious WhatsApp group chat, including all of Ben Gvir's left-wing political rivals, who he calls Yair Lapid's dream government. But in the con controversial video, Arab-Israeli Knesset member and candidate for labor, Ibtisam Mar'ana, is made to joke about the Holocaust, sending a meme of Hitler with a heart emoji. Now, Ben Gvir has been petitioning against her run in the Knesset for comments that she has made in the past on Twitter, but this is sparking renewed, heavy criticisms against both Ben Gvir and his party, Otsma Yehudit, even from Ben Gvir's new political partners, who say that the feud has gone too far. Ben Gvir, however, defending his statements. אפילו בצלאל סמוטריץ', השותף שלך לבלוק הטכני או לא לבלוק הטכני, גינה את זה, אמר אני דור שלישי לשואה, זה לא היה במקום, לא ראיתי את זה לפני שזה פורסם. קודם כל, בצלאל צודק, הוא לא היה אחראי לזה, זו אחריות של עוצמה יהודית של הצוות האסטרטגי, זה לא יעזור לי גם אם אני אגיד לך שראיתי את זה והתלבטתי, השיקול דעת הוא שלי, האחריות שלי. טעיתי בזה שהכנסנו שם מוטיבים שלא היינו צריכים להכניס. אבל בואי נדבר על המהות. המהות זה שיאיר לפיד ואפילו נפתלי בנט הולכים לשבת בממשלה, רוצים, זה החלום, עם הגברת הזאת, עם מרץ, עם הדוברת של בל"ד, את מבינה איזה סכנה הולכת להיות כאן? אז אנחנו, אני ובצלאל, שלפעמים יש בינינו מחלוקת, הולכים להציל את זה. Joining us with more is Jeremy Saltan, candidate for Knesset with the Yamina party under chairperson נפתלי בנט. Jeremy, thanks so much for being with us. It's a pleasure. Now, first of all, how do you respond to the video and the allegations levied against your party and, and others in the opposition right now by Itamar Ben Gvir and Otsma Yehudit? Unfortunately, I, I was not at all surprised. Uh, we know already what to expect from Ben Gvir. I, I did expect a bit more from Smotrich. I understand that he says that he was not aware of uh, what was happening in terms of what was going out in his name. However, Smotrich has not taken it down yet. That's nice that he's saying that he disagrees with Ben Gvir, but, but even as we're, we're having this interview right now, it's, it's, still, it's still there in all of the different groups and online and on their various social media pages. So, you know, this would be a great time for them to take that down. Uh, but, but, but it's also, it's a crazy thing uh, saying that, that our dream government is to sit with, with the far left and to sit with members of the joint list. I, I think that anybody who knows what Yamina stands for and who Naftali Bennett is realizes what a ridiculous message that is, despite the fact, of course, that, that we have to you know, go through a lot of ridiculous, um, really just harsh and, and, and things that should not be within the discourse that were part of that video. All right. Now, Ben Gviri also, he went on to call parties like Yamina anti-Zionist, uh, or at the very least, less Zionist than, than Ben Gvir's Otsma Yehudit. How do you respond? You know, it's, uh, it's Yamina that recognizes Israel as a Jew Jewish and democratic state. Uh, I would ask him how he defines Zionism and how he defines Israel. Uh, once again, he, he's the one who's, who's really going ahead and he's invoking the Holocaust and Hitler and, and things that should just not be in the Israeli discourse. And I, I'm really not sure what part of Zionism he thinks that, that he's part of, that he's trying to go ahead and, and take uh, various patriots, whether it's in my party or other parties, and, and try to go ahead and, and stick any of that ridiculous rhetoric to us. So, so really, I, I think he should be ashamed of himself. I think Smotrich should uh, stop allowing his partners to take him in all these crazy directions. And, and they should just take down the video, take down the ad, to say that you don't like about the ad, but then try to defend the messaging behind the ad, and, and you're refusing to actually take it down. That, that says all you have to know about what, what's happening in that party right now. And, and apparently, it's a very terrible message. All right. Now, I, I want to address the supposed alleged meeting between the Likud and Fatah in Ramallah overnight, apparently in fear of a right-wing coalition controlled by Gideon Sar's New Hope Party and uh, your Yamina party under Naftali Bennett. Are they right to be afraid and throw support behind the Likud? I, I must say that uh, <laughs> the Israeli election is, is always going to throw you more surprises. You, you know, the reports that, that there's some sort of uh, deal that was discussed between Likud and the Palestinian Authority, um, I, I guess you're right. Uh, what, what seems to be scaring certain people, I'm not sure if it's uh, the Palestinian side or Likud side or perhaps both, 
uh, per perhaps, again, they, they see what we see, and that is that Yamina is gaining in strength, and that as we get closer to election day, it's quite well, clear it would that it would appear does that, not have a government. Well, well, it would appear that this meeting is essentially to say that the Likud government would be more sympathetic than a Yamina New Hope government. Is that accurate? <laughs> I'm not talking about who's going to be more sympathetic to the Palestinian Authority, but the idea that, that the Likud is, is, you know, considering whatever deal that, that might have been reported here in terms of, of getting an endorsement. Re remember, it's the um, Netanyahu Likud campaign ads that are saying that only Netanyahu will have a full right government. Only Netanyahu will have a right wing bloc. Uh, I, I don't know, man. You, if you're the one sitting with the Palestinian Authority having a lot of these deals, again, according to these reports, then I, I really don't know exactly what right wing, uh, you know, cre credibility you, you have to stand for when you're talking about this. All right, Jeremy Salton, thank you so much for joining us today. Sure.